Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com. And today I want to talk very, very quickly about the seven primary benefits of using a Google dynamic search ad campaign as opposed to a traditional keyword campaign. Uh, if you're a small business owner and you've been spinning your wheels on the traditional keyword ad campaigns through the Google Ads or what used to be called the AdWords um, platform, then I highly recommend that you cut that out and hire a Google Webmaster to really optimize and set and configure uh, an ad campaign that's going to have a high ROI as opposed to spending a whole lot of money and getting maybe some traffic or getting, you know, maybe getting a little boost in your sales but not really utilizing the platform to its fullest potential. Um, Dynamic search ads came about right in around, uh, I don't know, beginning or middle of 2018, and they've slowly become, in my opinion, the most powerful way to generate uh, a lot of leads and a lot of sales through the Google Ads camp, through the Google Ads platform. So let's go really quickly through them. So there, are seven, um, there are seven main points to be made about the Google Dynamic Search Ads technology. So number one, is that my team will save time configuring Google Dynamic Search Ad campaigns. If my team spends less time configuring and optimizing and maintaining your Google Ad campaign, you pay us less money to do that. So the amount of money that you give Google to, to display ads, your monthly ad spend, is sort of a separate issue to the labor that a team like mine spends configuring and optimizing and maintaining that campaign. The Google Dynamic Search Ads campaigns are easier for us to maintain and optimize than the traditional keyword campaigns, which means that they are cheaper for you to buy from me. So that's the number one reason, is that you will we will save time and you will save money. Number two, frequent and automatic updates to your ads. If you run a website and your website has your products and service offerings listed or described and you have landing pages and that you take really good care of your website, you don't need to configure individual keyword ads for each of your service or product offerings. You used to have to, but not anymore. Now what you should be doing is maintaining your website. Keep your website fresh create dynamic search ad campaigns, and then your dynamic search ad campaigns will continuously recrawl your website for changes. Now your team can focus on the website and your web developers are benefiting from the dynamic search ads technology that it's constantly pulling from that relevant website. The end game for Google, what is the goal? Is that the internet be a relevant and a powerful tool that their search that their google.com search engine be a powerful place to answer questions. The way to do that is to entice people to create relevant and, and very, um, very current websites. So frequent automatic updates to your ads is number two. Number three, to show relevant dynamically generated headlines with your ads. So we used to spend a lot of development time, a lot of trial and error, and a lot of uh, maintenance time on developing the headline so that if I go to Google search and I search for a certain thing that the headline be compelling. Dynamic search ads take that guesswork out of the game at least because the thing that someone types into the search engine can be included in the headline, making the headline way more compelling than you were ever going to predict it be. So that's the number three reason, is that you will show relevant, dynamically generated headlines with these advertisements. Number four, to control your campaign. So it says here, you can show ads based on your entire website, or specific categories, or specific pages, or I can prevent my ads from showing um, for any products that I've stopped offering, any services that are not profitable, or anything that's out of stock. So I can go into my Google Dynamic Search ad campaign and I can very quickly make changes to control the output of those advertisements directing uh, revenue streams in certain directions, right? And that's something that you weren't doing with, uh, you weren't doing it quick and easy and you weren't doing it efficiently with those keywords campaigns because they were very bulky. They were monstrous campaigns. Number five, capturing additional traffic. I'll say it again, traditional keyword search um, advertisement campaigns were very hit or miss. They required a lot of optimization and they were very hard 
to 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 optimize to full potential because you didn't really know what full potential was. Now you're going to capture additional traffic because Google's using artificial intelligence to dynamically display advertisements to internet users based on their search, not based on a company's intention to show you an advertisement, based on a searcher's intention in searching. So that, that's a huge difference. It's a complete shift in the way advertisements land on desktops, in my opinion. Um, number six to control your messaging. So we used to make a lot of ads. We used to make a title and then there would be description lines and we would make description lines and certain description lines would display based on the device that a person was using. If they were on a mobile device, they'd get one description line and if they were on a desktop, they'd get all three. With dynamic display ads, your web developer can create a single, a single line a long line description that your ads will be displayed as long as a person searches within that dynamic range they're going to get an advertisement with a description a description that you can control uh, which is powerful because the headline creates interest the description creates the click through a high converting web page creates the conversion and if A doesn't lead to B, doesn't lead to C, then you don't have a high ROI on your Google advertising campaign. Number seven, and the final reason, display URLs are based on your final URL domain. So this is great, and I'm just gonna show you quickly what we mean here. Here's one of the biggest national transmission companies in America, is Amco. They're running a traditional keyword campaign, and I find when I do transmission repair search, I find the Amco advertisement on the top of that search. You can see that the link displayed in the ad is this long link here, and that's an indication that this is a traditional keyword campaign because the new way, the dynamic display ads, will do it like this. Transmission repair, www.twincharlotte.com. So when I click on this ad, it's clean. It's displaying the root domain for me, but we know that if I click on this ad, I'm actually going to arrive on the transmission repair PPC link. That's the landing page that they've configured for this advertisement. This is a dynamic search ad right here. You got the biggest company in America running it the old way, and you got this little competitor in Charlotte creeping right up there with them, displaying an ad right with the big boys. And I guarantee you this dynamic display ad they are paying a fraction of the cost of Amco and what they're paying to configure and to maintain that uh, traditional keyword campaign. So twincharlotte.com, good job. Hey, I wanna tell you another thing that I love about this ad. Amco of Charlotte, $100 off transmission rebuild, that's great. Where's the call to action? Call today for a free estimate. It gives me this sense of, of instant gratification, doesn't it? Combined with the phone number, and that link that's gonna go straight to that landing page, pair that with an address that's local, boom, this is a much better ad than this is. It's a much more affordable ad, I guarantee you it's a higher converting ad, I guarantee you that this advertisement right here is generating more revenue for this small company in Charlotte than this advertisement is generating for the Amco in Charlotte. So that's a great thing to see when a local business is doing it right. I wish I could say that that was a client of mine, but it's not. Someone's doing that right for them, and I really appreciate that. So those are the seven reasons why you should be considering a dynamic search ad campaign with your Google Webmaster as opposed to the old traditional way of doing it with keywords, okay? So thank you so much for coming back. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's MyWebRo, YouTube slash MyWebRo. You can check out MyWebRo.com, or you can see my um, company's website at DasWow.com. Check us out on Facebook and LinkedIn if you, if you like. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.